girl, are you ready? The real Andy of Beverly Hills is here to spill all the tea. So let's talk about this mess. Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day girl we keep talking about vanderpump rules all right a lot of talk around town when it comes to vanderpump rules so the first thing that we need to start is that yesterday the show was officially nominated not for one but for two emmy awards yes applause 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 they definitely deserve it for the first time they are being nominated um it took 10 years and a very very bad situation to get nominated but now they are there because girl they deserve it after that season oh my god i mean can you imagine if they win an emmy an emmy i mean that's like right there okay right um it is such a big deal that even Andy Cohen is feeling a little bit jealous, girl. Um, given that Real Housewife has actually never been nominated, right? And he said, so pumped for Vanderpump Rules Emmy nomination. And to be honest, a little befuddled that the housewife haven't ever gotten one in all of these years. Well, maybe if we will push the housewives to be a little bit more real, right? Like the cast of Vanderpump Rules, then maybe they will get nominated. Because let's be honest, the nomination came from the rawness of this season. And I think a lot of it, it has to be the season finale. That last episode, woof, you know, the way that Ariana reacted and screamed Cream, the way that Sheena have that heartbreaking conversation with Tom Sandoval, the way that Rachel was just a full-on psycho girl, you know, like that's real life right there. That's what we want to see on reality TV, okay? Fake bitches being fake on TV, that's not what we need. But anyways, congratulations to Vanderpump Rules. Now, let's hope, let's hope, let's go for the win. Okay, guys, so talking about um, Rachel, there has been all of these rumors going around. If, you know, she's going to come back, if she's not going to come back. Now, a lot of people are saying there's a lot of things that, that she is officially going to return, okay? That she is said to be filming next week. There was this piece on Dumois saying that the, there is a reservation made at certain part and that Rachel is definitely going to be there and apparently that's going to be the return of Rachel into the group. However, now there is also a new report saying that she is still negotiating her contract, you know? So what I'm thinking is like they are probably anticipating that she will be back next season, I mean, next week to film, but apparently she still is waiting her options on how to make this right, or not even make this right. I think how she can get the best out of this. I, look, not that I am a Rachel sympathizer at all, because girl, you, but I think I will be doing the same. I mean, the whole world already hates me. The least that I'm going to do is get my own, like my coins, you know? So I will be asking for the stars and the moon if you really want me back on that show. Um, is it a good idea? <laughs> Girl, no. I mean, <laughs> to be very honest, I, I don't think we need Raquel at all. I think we need Raquel for like two episodes, you know, and then she should be like moving on. Okay. Because what are we going to do? She, I don't see anyone in this group moving forward when it comes to Rachel, you know, because the betrayal was so big and she is, it's not like she has really long-term relationship with these people, you know? So it's easier to cut her out. Um, but again, I mean, there is no... We don't know if she, even if she returns, if she's going to be there for the whole season or maybe for just a couple episodes. We have no idea. Now, talking about people who think this is a bad idea, we have the one and only Mr. Jax Taylor, okay? 
So you know that there is a lot of rumors that Jax Taylor thinks that um what is this? Okay, yeah. That Jax Taylor is returning this season to the show. You know, I mean he's basically saying that it is a done deal. There are a lot of rumors until I saw him in front of a camera or on the trailer of the next season. I uh, I don't know, you know, but if he's back. I'm here for it, you know, because I, I do love me some Jax. Literally, the name of my doc is Jax. So um, he did say that he doesn't think that Rachel should return to the show. He said, you need to have thick skin. In my opinion, I think Raquel dove into something that was a little bit bigger than her. I don't think she is mentally tough enough to be in something like this. Despite having only talked to Levi's maybe two times in his life, Jack Taylor insists that he wants the best for her. However, he doesn't feel bad for anyone on the show when it comes to the drama that play out on the small screen. We all step in this game together, he said, okay? We all know what we are doing. We all sign on the dotted line. I don't feel bad for anybody, but this is, I'm sorry, this is what you sign up for. Now you gotta own it. <laughs> it's going to be interesting, you know? I, I honestly, I, I just think that she, yeah, she, mentally, I don't know if she's going to be able to deal with these people because these people are going to devour her. And it's not like she has any friends or anyone like the, the only person that was her friend was like Charlie. And I think Charlie's already done with her. So I don't know. I mean, this, this whole situation is honestly, I don't see it coming to a good end. So if I was Rachel, I will be running to the hills right now. So anyways, that's the tea. That's everything that is going on with the Vanderpoom Rules cast right now. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Should Rachel return next season? Let me know. And if you want to get all the tea related to Vanderpoom Rules or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. If you want to get a personalized message from me, now you can book me through Cameo. The link is on the description below. And I'll see you around. See ya. Bye. It's time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Rose Forever. They did this amazing bouquet of flowers with special oils that will make the roses last up to a year. This is the perfect gift for you, your mom, your wife, your husband, whatever you want to say, I'm sorry, I love you, I miss you, say it with these beautiful flowers. So if you want to get your bouquet right now, go to the link on the description below and use my discount code ANDY25 and you will get $25 off your order. Again, this is the perfect gift for anyone. So whatever you want to say, say it with roses from Rose Forever.